का सीजन तो को स्पॉन्सर्ड बाय अमूल में अब है असली तंगल बहुत ही भारी भरकम देवियर सजनो अब वक्त है पुरुषों के संतानवे यानी के 97 किलोग्राम वर्ग कुश्ती का जयपुर निंजाज की ओर से आ रहे हैं जोर्जिया बोल के एलिस पार ओडी कोस So we move on to the men's 97 kilograms category, the big man, the uh, highest weight category in wrestling. And uh, for Jaipur Ninjas, we have Elispa Odikatsi, their captain, and he's up against Mausam Katri, the for Yupi Dongal. And you've got to say here, Raman. That if uh, Elitsva Udikatse, the captain of the Jaipur Ninjas, if he can go to victory here, then the match is effectively over. Disappointing season for UP Dangal. So a huge amount to fight for for Mozam Kafri. Yes, it is, because Elizabeth is unbeaten this season. He is to the right of your screens, remember. Elizabeth was fifth at the Rio Olympics, bronze at the European Championships in 2016, a silver in the European Games in 2015 for Elizabeth Orikadze, who's also the captain of this uh, side, the Jaipur Ninjas. He's to the right of your screens at the moment in the continue, continue. green and yellow singlet with the red belt. Continue, continue. Mazam Katri lost his first match to Abdul Salam Garizov and then was blocked in the second match and the third match continue, was blocked continue, continue. as well. So just one bout for him. While Elizabeth, since he's the captain of the side, has fought all three contests so far and he's won all three. Yeah, continue, can't continue. be blocked. But uh, you can only actually block on a choice once, but of course that means that you can go out twice because you could be blocked by the other side too. Absolutely. So in the five contests that you'll have, you'll end up at least um, getting blocked a couple of times. If you are not the icon player, because icon players, that is the captain, they can't be blocked. And uh, referee Satyadev Malik, unhappy about the lack of action, demanding more. So Elisva Odikadze in the yellow and green biding his time but expect an attack quickly Mossam Katri as well remember has a bronze medal at the Asian Games that was in Guangzhou zone. he runs the risk of being pushed out of the safety zone that's exactly what Elizabeth has done so the first points being scored here by the uh, captain of Jaipur Ninjas Elizabeth Rikadze against Mossam Katri That first point, you obviously don't see quite the same agility with these very, very big men, and the, the push-out becomes a, a a bit like my old game, rugby. It's a bit of a scrum. Oh, yes, uh, you're not going to see this uh, car take some sharp turns, but a sharp move here by Mossam Katri. 
a single leg hold against Elizabeth, who recovers well, using his upper body strength. Elizabeth Ricardzi, the big Georgian, literally dictating terms with his sheer strength of the upper body. It was because he looked to be in trouble, but then he turns That's his fine. man, takes him down, and a two-pointer just took advantage of lack of balance and rolls his man. That's another That's two. I can tell you one thing, John. You're not going to see this rollover happen very often in a 97 kilogram category. But uh, Elizabeth Rodikadze is so supremely confident of his abilities. He's just taking chances here. Five to nothing, the lead for him. Just uh, 15 seconds left in this first round, and Elizabeth Rodikadze has asserted his authority. Fifth in the Rio Olympics been in the biggest competitions with the best wrestlers in the world end of the first round five-point lead for Elisbar Odikadze captain of the Jaipur Ninjas the referee signals the start of round two Mausam Katri five points behind you look at Elizabeth and his demeanor, John, Red accent. he's almost like the gentle giant. The moment the bout got over, you could see him go no and finger. shake hands with Mausam Katri. Before the bout started, he's very languid. He takes his time even during the bout. He's and not overtly aggressive. He's supremely confident of his abilities and he knows he can dominate the bout whenever he wants. He's like that gentle giant who will go about his task without too much fuss. And Mausam Katri, though, he'll have to come up with something special. Red accent trying to attack but it's so difficult to get close to Odikadze almost made that uh, continue, continue. leg that lunge for a leg grip tell but it didn't and uh, perhaps a warning there to Odikadze for being too passive just trying to hold his man off referee had a word we'll see whether it was actually a warning in a moment I think it was also to do with the finger flexing that was happening as well. That's what Satyadev Malik signaled. So Elizabeth will have to avoid those illegal holds against Katri. You're not allowed to, to bend the fingers back. Well, not much action so far in this second round, and we're midway through. Tell you what, John, Mossam Khatri is trying, trying his level best. You can see him, he's trying to find an opening, goes for the odd dodge, tries to dive for the single leg attack. Elizabeth is just holding him off without any fuss. And I'm surprised the referees uh, putting up with this. They've been very proactive all throughout all the matches in demanding action. And we haven't really seen any, and two minutes gone in this second round. Now for the first time, Elizabeth on the attack, he's got a single leg hold, he can convert it into points. Mossam Khatri ties his best and wriggles out of that hold. Geeta Fogart, uh, Pawan Kumar, her husband looking on. And then of course there's Sunny Kachal to the right, who's the uh, co-owner for the UP Dangal team. What contact? Time running out now for Mozam Katri. Five points behind and less than 30 seconds. What contact? And it looks as if Elisba Odikadze, the captain of the Jaipur Ninjas, is going to have the honor of scoring the victory that's going to take them through guaranteed to the semi final. Finally, a takedown for Mozam Katri. He manages to take Elizabeth down, scores two points for it, but time's up, and it's going to be a comfortable win for Elizabeth Orikadze, 5-2, and that win also seals the tie for Jaipur Ninjas. It was almost at the end there, as if uh, Orikadze said, right, I've done it now, okay, I'm going to save my energy, you can have that takedown. 5-2, comfortable victory, I have to say, all the way through.
and uh, good effort from Mazam Katri, but he could never literally get to grips with this man. Yes, literally and figuratively speaking, John. So let's go around to Poppy now and see whom she's talking to.